Hello everyone, this is Tatiana and welcome to my channel. If you haven't done so yet, then make sure to subscribe and ring the bell in order not to miss out on one of these fun videos. In today's video, I am redoing my own nails. Today's design is going to be absolutely beautiful, but also really simple to complete. So without any further delay, let's get started. My nails are two and a half weeks old, but holding up quite nicely without any major chipping or lifting, which makes me super happy. I am removing the color with my nail drill using a bit with medium abrasion. When removing the color with a nail drill, it's important to keep moving and not linger in one spot. Medium abrasion removes the coating quickly and works out a lot better for me than soft abrasion from a uh, red notch nail bit. So when removing your coating with a nail drill, keep moving and be in control of your movements. After removing the color, I will take care of the thickness on the tips and remove any excess volume from the base. My nails have been in a square shape for so long and I've really wanted to change them to an almond shape. However, they're still too short, so I'm going to have to wait a bit longer for them to grow out. For now, I'm just forming the length on the free edge and cleaning up any unevenness. Further, I am pushing back the cuticle a little with my cuticle pusher and then cleaning up with my nail drill. I do love working with a new nail bit. It is good to replace them after about five to 10 uses, uh, but of course this also depends on what kind of nails you've been working on. I'm passing through one side twice and then I'm turning it on to reverse and sweeping through the other side as well. Further, I will take my scissors and carefully cut some of the cuticle. Now I'm ready to apply a non-acidic base in a thin layer without any leveling. But all of a sudden, after having let them cure, I noticed that I didn't put on a base but a top coat. In my defense, the bottles do almost look identical, but I guess those big words in white didn't quite register. Mistakes do happen and that's okay, so I'm soaking my nails and removing this thin layer. I've once again dehydrated my nails, applied a primer, and this time the base. 
Then I am coating my nails in a highly pigmented black gel polish. Sometimes it can be quite difficult to uh, hold back the sides and avoid any polish from getting on your skin. So these little things right here really do come in handy. One layer of this polish was more than enough. So now I am just mixing a small amount of our gel polish into top coat. The mix is ready and now for the cellophane. It's just your typical cellophane that you probably have lying somewhere in your kitchen. I'm applying the mix to my nail, but keeping a good distance from the cuticle area. Once the cellophane is lying just right on top, I am taking an orange stick and creating some creases. After letting them dry underneath the lamp, I'm removing the cellophane and filing just a little here and there. If there is a little texture in the middle, that's fine. Uh, this design doesn't call for everything to be super smooth. Now for my favorite part, chrome powder. I love choosing these kind of contrasting colors, and this combination right here I simply adore. And this was just a mere coincidence. I noticed it after. Working with chrome powders is so easy. You don't have to draw anything, you don't have to worry about leakage, and it always turns out flawless and it's super eye-catching. Now all that's left is the top coat. For the first layer, I'm focusing mainly on the center of my nail, um, making sure to coat all of those dents and curves. Um, and then once that's dried, I'm applying the second layer over my entire nail. Also, just for fun, I've decided to coat two of my nails in a matte top coat. This finish is absolutely mesmerizing, and if you ask me, I think it might even be better than a cat's eye finish. I am so happy with how my nails turned out, and I can't stop looking at them. If you liked this video, then please give it a big thumbs up, and until next time.